Classroom Activity 41. Where's my present? First, get the students to draw a toy. It could be any toy they really want or just an interesting toy. Here's my toy, for example. You should really be happy that I'm not an art teacher. Then you fold up the toy and you hand them out to random students in the class. They look at the toy and they keep it safe. Then the students have to mingle around and ask questions. Have you seen a toy that looks like a human? Have you seen my toy? It is made out of metal. If you have younger learners that drew in color, you can say, oh, have you seen my toy? It is gray. The students walk around and they ask questions. Until they are sure they found their toy, then you say, have you seen my robot? And then the student hands them their robot. This is a really good activity for the students to have fun and ask good questions. Classroom activity 42. It's a deal. In negotiations, there is a clear objective and a desired result. Therefore, negotiations are inherently stimulating. It's also a great way for learners to practice explaining themselves or argue their ideas. Place the learners in pairs and ask them to practice one conversation for every category. Once they are done, let some of the pairs perform a negotiation in front of class. Parents and children, they can talk about homework, uh, dinner, bedtime, pocket money, uh, chores, staying at a friend's house or what birthday presents they want. Boyfriends and girlfriends, where to go for dinner, what to watch, spending time with other people, who should we visit for Christmas. For husbands and wives, uh, what chores should they do, uh, the budget, looking after kids, dealing with problems with relatives, teachers and students. The amount of homework, classroom behavior, uh, what they should learn in class and the classroom rules. Employers and employees, working hours, salary, job description, their responsibilities, how much holiday do they get, what benefits or asking for a promotion. For political leaders, they can talk about war, international agreements, exporting, defense. Between a landlord and a tenant, they can agree on the rent. They can talk about the house condition, what should be done if there's a problem at home, how to fix it. A police officer and a witness making deals, offering protection. They can also have a police officer and a criminal, which also could be fun. A quick warning, I have seen many learners take role plays and simulations seriously. Remember, it's about taking part, not about winning.